Hello everyone, Josh here with the Dicetic Audio Project, and today we're going to be taking a tech look at the Zoom F3 Compact Field Recorder. Zoom released initial details about this back in January. Initially, it looks like a solid piece of gear with a couple of quirks. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the technical specifications and features that we can expect from this. The Zoom F3 has the ability to record a mono or stereo wave file at 192 kilohertz with a 32-bit float. They're claiming that this means that there's no gain adjustment needed on the F3, and it's virtually impossible to clip the input audio. The F3 is a two-track, two-input field recorder and has two independent XLR balanced inputs with phantom power available for both. It has a high quality preamp with a noise floor of negative 127 dBU, making this an extremely quiet recorder. The small screen on the top of the F3 shows the input on a real-time waveform display. It has both a headphone and a line-out terminal with dedicated volume controls. The F3 records to micro SDHC or micro SDXC cards and supports up to a terabyte of storage. It has a high precision time code and Bluetooth remote control, but it requires a separate Bluetooth and time code system. It also can function as a two in, two out USB audio interface with the ability to record up to a 96 kilohertz, 32 bit float file. Finally, with AA batteries, the F3 is capable of running up to eight continuous hours on alkaline batteries. An AC adapter is available, as well as you can use a USB-powered battery bank. It has no gain knob, and officially, Zoom says, no adjustment required, dual AD converter circuit adopted. This is in line with other Zoom recorders like the F2, but differs from the more professional oriented F4 and F8 units. I'll be interested to see where this lands in the F series lineup. Next, the size makes this a massively versatile piece of gear with a game changing ability to mount it directly to a boom pole, put it on a belt, or anywhere else you can stash it, you now have the option to not worry about your wireless gear dropping out by recording directly to this recorder. It also gives you the ability to have a boom mic without cables, meaning that you're not tied to an audio bag or a camera and it makes it more versatile and easy to use. Finally, the ability to use this as an audio interface that can record a 32-bit float at 96 kilohertz is a pretty cool feature. I don't think that I would necessarily buy it specifically for that purpose, but for someone who is traveling and needs an easy I.O. box, this is an expensive way to achieve it. Overall, this is a fascinating piece of new audio tech that has multiple benefits in different industries. But even with the highest quality audio recorders, it doesn't matter unless you have a good studio monitor set up to edit with. Check out this video where I review some affordable studio monitors that I've found to be excellent to edit audio with. 